Hey Roblox here and in this video I'm going to show you how to create physics-based rotation of parts. It is actually not that complicated as you may think. Okay, let's jump into it. In my last video I showed you how to rotate parts in Roblox Studio by a C-frame, but this method does not take into account the physics of the game and I show you why. When I jump on this platform, as you can see, this platform slides right away under my avatar. In some cases you may want exactly this kind of rotation, but in other cases you may need to consider um, the physics of the game, like if you want to build a car or a moving bridge or something else. Okay, let's create a physics-based rotation in Roblox. Open Roblox Studio and go to your workspace. Then click on this plus icon and create a folder, like I do. Then rename your folder to, let's say, uh, physics uh, rotation. So, like that. And then click on this folder on the plus icon again and insert a part. Okay. Then select your part and change your size to 1, 1, 1. Okay. Um... Then I want to change the color as well, let's say to yellow. And then I want to set the transparency to 0 0.6. I do it this way because it reminds me that later in the game this part is made transparent by a script. But right now I need to work with this part normally in Roblox Studio. Okay, let's rename our part as well. I give it a name like Anchor part because this is the only part that will be anchored and therefore I need to set the anchor right here. Okay, my part is anchored and I want to change can collide and can touch to false as well. Good. Uh, then let's move this part a little bit up so it is slightly above over the floor and let's put it a little bit to the left side as well. Okay, I want to create a similar model like this. Let's insert another part. Simply click on the plus icon of your folder and click on part again. Good. Select this part. Uh, move it slightly over to this one. You know what? Let's change the size again to 1, 1 and 1 like this. And... Where is it? Okay, I, I need to have the same position. I go to I go to my align tool, click on the part, hold the control key, click on the anchor part again, and select X, Y, and Z axis, active object, and align. Now my part is in the same place as my anchor part. Okay. Good. Uh, let's move this part a little bit to the right side, like this. Control free and then scale it a little bit up like this. Good. Uh, should we put a decal on this one? I guess yes. Go to your toolbox, go to images, type in arrow, like this. And uh, let's select this one. Right click, copy asset ID, and then go to your part, click on this plus icon again, and add a decal like this. Um, set it to face top, I would say, like this. Let's go a little bit up with my camera and go to texture and simply control V your asset ID like this. And there we go. You have now a arrow on your part. Um, so much for that. And then simply duplicate this part like this. Control 2. And now let's move this part a little bit to the right side like this. And let's change the size on the Z axis to uh, let's say 8. No, maybe 6. This This should be enough. Good, uh, so much for that. So, both of these parts are not anchored, okay? Now, uh, let's rename this part to, let's say, platform, like this. 
what else do we have to do oh yeah we have to weld this platform part to this part okay go to your constraints click on it and then select weld then select your platform and then go on your part and as you can see this part is now welded to this part good so much for that so if i start the game now these parts would fall on the floor like you can see right okay now we need to create our rotation go to your constraints again and select your hinge constraint like this good and then go with your mouse over your uh, anchor part like this and the second click should go on your part on this one not on your platform on your part so as you can see this created a attachment zero on this anchor part and a hinge constraint and on this part it created attachment one connection okay so what we need to do now is we can click on this anchor part then scroll down to position uh, mark your position then Control z for copy and then select your attachment zero and attachment one hold your control key so select both of them and then scroll down to world position uh, click in this field and then Control v for paste this one and as you can see your constraint is moved in the center of your anchor part and that's exactly what we want to have here now select your hinge constraint and go down to uh, actuator type uh, right now we have selected none but i want to change that we need actually a motor like this and um the motor has some properties as well angular velocity is basically the rotation speed we start with one i would say and max torque you should uh, simply click in this motor max acceleration field and then Control z for copy and then Control v for paste in max torque right now as you can see this blue arrow indicates your rotation direction so our part will rotate like this in this way so let's test it if this works and as you can see this part is rotating in this way but i want to rotate it the other way around and i can show you how we can do that um, i can actually do it in a live test i go in this live test to constraint then show welds uh, constraint details and draw on top i activate all of them and as you can see now this is our weld constraint and this is our hinge constraint so i click on my anchor part and then i open this up and my normal part as well and then i select both the attachment zero and attachment one so as you can see this rotates right now in this direction and i can simply rotate both of these attachments in let's say this way and as you can see this part starts to rotate in this direction okay and that's what we need to do now so let's stop this test and go to our attachment zero and attachment one select both by holding the control key and then go to your rotation tool um, type in here 90 degree and then simply rotate both of these tools so and if i start now this game so as you can see it rotates in the correct direction good there's one thing you have to keep in mind that this both attachments need to be in the same position you cannot put them in different position like this as you can see right now i moved it a little bit away to the left side and there is a red 
arrow indicator if you hold your alt key um, a pop-up goes up and um, there is a warning in this pop-up okay so simply put both in the same position like i do here and everything should be fine let's do a live test again i want to show you some things um, let's turn on the constraints again okay then select this anchor part and then open the list and select attachment zero and attachment one maybe you want to rotate this part in the center of the platform all you need to do is simply select your move tool uh, of course not in this live test uh, and then move this constraint over to your platform and as you can see it starts to rotate right in the center of this platform almost at least and there's another thing you have to consider like when a other part comes in the way of this part this part will stop um, i will demonstrate you that let's add another part in here uh, where is it this one let's scale it a little bit up and let's anchor this part now i actually want to show you without the anchor so i move this i move this part over here and as you can see this part gets pushed away by this part by this platform so and then i anchor this part and move it in the way of this platform and as you can see this one stops and here is our rotation part with c frame let's look what happened here um as you can see i move it in the way of this part and this part slides in simply through our new part again yeah because this one does not take into account the physics of the game but this one does as you can see it stops in the beginning of this video i showed you that this part is sliding right away under my feet as you can see i cannot stand on it and let's test this now with our new hinge constraint rotation part as you can see my avatar is moving with this part and exactly this is the uh, big difference between a c-frame rotation and a physics-based rotation with a hinge constraint the last thing we need to do now is um, turn this anchor part invisible uh, in the game. So to do that, simply click on this plus icon and insert a script. Okay, there is our new script. And then in the script, um, delete this line and then insert a local, let's name it anchor part equals to script dot parent so this is our script and this is our parent anchor part okay now that we have selected our anchor part we can set uh, anchor part dot can collide equals false then anchor part dot uh, can touch also false then anchor part dot can query also false and finally transparency anchor part dot transparency equals to one as you can see our anchor part is now invisible and i can walk through this part because can collide is set to false okay so much for this tutorial as you can see creating rotation parts based on physics is not really hard in roblox and if you want to add something to this tutorial please let me know in the comments thank you for watching and bye Thank you.